Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the definition of hegemonic masculinity. Before going to the concept, I would like to introduce a little boy named Tom first, who lives in the normal happy family. Hi guys. His dad looks muscular, strong, and calm as a great example of hegemonic masculinity. On the other hand, his mom looks pretty slim and girly, as how hegemonic femininity should be. One day, little Tom was walking on the way to home. Suddenly. He bump into the stone and he fall. He sit there and start to cry. His mom come beside him and said, "Tom, boy, do not cry. You should never cry in any situation." Little Tom stand there and start to think and ask his mom, "Why I cannot cry when I feel hurt?" His mom reply, "In this society, people expect men to behave in certain norms. If you do not fit in, then you will be treated as others." So Tom. You have to learn how to act like men. Your dad is perfect example. Hey Nancy, what are you doing? It's time to cook dinner. From the story, we can see that the hegemonic masculinity can happen in the family context. The father have power to give order to the mother. More importantly, little Tom is learning the idea of hegemonic masculinity during his early childhood education. According to Rowan Connell. The definition of hegemonic masculinity is a typical middle-class, Caucasian, heterosexual, and able-bodied man. Hegemony is both intergendered and introgendered, meaning that men are the hegemonic group in comparison to women. However, some men have more power over than other men, such as their status and wealth. If you will not fit with the definition of hegemonic masculinity, then you will be treated as other. People can have different masculinity depending on the different context, experience, social, political, cultural, and region you are living in. Within the society, hegemonic men possess privileges, resources, and power. Furthermore, they obtain control over national politics and army. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.